Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to Bedtime Story. Today we've been talking about light and shadows, and we even did some experimenting with some shadows. I hope you had a chance to do that at home as well. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be a little bit sunny, so you will have a chance to make some shadows outside. Tonight's story is called The Paper Boy. And it's written, and the paintings are by Deb Hokey. Take a look at this cover. And do you see some shadows? So when we read this book, I'd like you to be a shadow detective. And you can see if you can find some shadows on each page. This boy's job is to bring newspapers to people's houses. So first I'm going to show you this page. And we will go back through and we will find the shadows at the end of the story. So here's his sleepy town. It's still so dark. It must be very early in the morning stars and the moon are still out. The mornings of the paper boy are still dark and they are always cold, even in summer. And on these cold mornings, the paper boy's bed is still warm and it is always hard to get out, even for his dog. But they do. They get up and they get ready to go deliver those papers. And softly they step down the quiet hall, past the door where the paper boy's father and mother are sleeping, past the door where his sister is asleep. and down to the kitchen where they eat from their bowls. They're both having their breakfast. Looks like he might be having some cereal. See, he has a carton of milk on the table. And out to the garage where they quickly fold their papers, snapping on green rubber bands and placing them in a large red bag. It's hard to ride a bike when you are loaded down with newspapers, but the paper boy has learned how to do this, and he is good at it. The paper boy knows his route by heart, so he doesn't ever think about it which house to pedal to. Instead, he is thinking about other things, big things and small things. And sometimes he is thinking about nothing at all. Just his job that he has to do. His dog too knows this route by heart. He knows which trees are for sniffing. He knows which bird baths are for drinking. And he knows which squirrels are for chasing and which cats are for growling at. All the world is asleep except for the paper boy and his dog. And this time, and this is the time when they are the happiest. Little by little, the world around them wakes up and the stars and the moon fade away and the skies become orange and pink. So beautiful.
and when the paper boy has delivered his last newspaper, he and his dog race home, and his empty red bag flaps behind them in the cold morning sun. Soon they are back home, and it is still dark inside, but the sounds of morning are all around. His father and mother are awake and talking softly in their bed, and his sister is downstairs watching Saturday morning cartoons. And back inside his own room, the paper boy pulls down his shade and crawls back into his bed, which is still warm. And while all of the world is waking up, the paper boy is going back to sleep, and his dog is sleeping too. Their work is done. And now is the time for dreaming. Let's go back through the book and find some shadows. First page. Do you see the shadows? That the, the stars and the moon make when they hit the tree? So tree shadows, house shadows. And even on this page, you can see some a little bit darker. I don't really see any shadows on this page. But wait until he turns on the light. We have some light sources, right? We have the moon outside and we have the light inside. He turned on his lamp. And I see some fantastic shadows right here, and right here, and right here. Can you see the shadows? Can you see any more shadows? Maybe the trash can over here, and even the table on the wall. I love this little shadow that the nightlight makes. So we can see where he's going. There's even a little bit of a shadow over here. And over here. And when he pulls out of his garage on his bicycle, you see the houses have made some shadows and the tree over here. And just look at this. There's lots of shadows here. The sky is getting a little bit lighter. You see this big long shadow that the tree has made. The bird bath. Even the garage over here. And look at this. It's a shadow right into the water. It's going over that bridge. Sleepy, sleepy town is waking up. So there's more light and they cast even darker shadows. You can see the shadows much better when the light source is stronger. And what's the light source? The sun coming up. And here he is, coming back home. Light's still there. So many wonderful shadows in this book. I love it. Even in his dream, he's, he has shadows in his dream. So boys and girls, before you go to bed tonight, see if you can find some shadows in your house. Let's put our hands together and we'll say our prayers. Thank you, God, for this day, for our friends, our homes, and play. Amen.
men. Good night. God bless. Sweet dreams. We'll see you again next time.